This video will feature details on how to work with the last couple sections of the settings tab. So if you go to the settings gear and you go then down to settings, uh, we just did a video on general labels, inbox and accounts. And now we're gonna focus on filters and blocked email addresses and then chat labs and themes. And the filters and labels kind of work together. So if we're looking at filters, I have a filter already set up. And um, what we'll do is I'll go into the edit piece of this. You can kind of see what a filter ends up looking like. So I can email, I can either set uh, filters up from people. I can set up filters that are going to specific people or to specific groups. I can set them up for based off of a subject or has words or doesn't have words things that include attachments, things that include chats, uh, things that have a greater than or lesser than file size as well. So for my purposes, I wanted to set up a list of, or I wanted to set up an account or a filter for any email that's going to a group mailing list that I'm a part of, a group email list that I'm in. So we get emails every once in a while that get sent to this, and sometimes they kind of get backed up a lot when people have an, a conversation going on. So I didn't want them going directly into my main inbox so I could filter them into a different spot. So I just made up a very simple filter that any email going to that email list then gets filtered into this label that I've created over here. So if I wanted to set up a, I have an email over here from Courtney that says a meeting, can you come to this meeting? So if I wanted to set up a filter for any meetings requests that I'm getting, what I can do is if I go to the gear and settings, the first step is I'm gonna to wanna to create a label for meetings. So I'm gonna click on labels, scroll all the way down to the bottom and it says create labels. So I'm gonna enter this as meetings. Uh, and I'm not gonna nest it under anything, I'm just gonna create it so that it exists and now it shows up on my left hand side as meetings. And now what I can do is I can come over to filters and blocked addresses. And blocked addresses are just gonna be down here, wherever you have someone that's sending you an email or if someone has like a spam account that is now just constantly emailing you, uh, you can block them inside of the email and they'll show up here. So you can either unblock them later on or you can just have a list of things that you have blocked. I have no one blocked. Uh, but for the filter, I'm going to click on create a new filter. And then from here, uh, this one isn't specific for coming from anyone or going to anyone. I just want it to have, if it has the word meeting in it. So I'm just gonna type in meeting. Uh, it doesn't have to do with anything with attachments or including chats. Uh, so I just want it to, anything that has the word meeting in it, I'm gonna wanna create a filter for that. And then I'm gonna go to create filter with this search. Uh, and then it gives me rules. So when a message arrives that matches this search, I'm going to skip the inbox and have it go directly into the meetings part. And then it has the ability to, I can have it marked as read immediately. I can start to make sure it's important. I can apply the label. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the label and I'm gonna choose meetings as the label. I can delete it immediately. If I wanna set up a filter where things just come in and get deleted, I can say that I never want to send those things to spam. If something keeps sending, uh, if their email or Gmail keeps reading things as spam, when they're not, you can set up a filter to make sure that's happening. You can mark things as always important. So if it's coming from someone that you always want to make sure that you know those emails are important, you can set up a filter that if it's coming from that person, you can always have that. And then you can always categorize it as well. And then it says also apply filter to 48 matching messages. So that means I have 48 other emails that currently have that as one of the, as meeting as in there. And then if I create filter, I can then come back here and edit these. I can delete them at any time, uh, but I can have now things that have meetings coming to me will show up over on the left-hand side in there from now on. And then some of the other options in settings, and you can set up as many filters uh, at, that you want. You can just have them all lined up and you can make as many uh, as you need and many labels as you need to kind of organize your email as much as you want. The chat tab says that chat is on or chat is off. So that's all of these things on the left-hand side with all of these people. Uh, if I don't want that to have an option, I can just turn that off. I can also have sound notifications on, I can have e e emojis or emoticons on, all that stuff from this tab. And then I'm gonna jump to themes real quick and we'll get back to labs because there's some important labs where if you just wanna select a theme for your entire Gmail, 
Uh, you can come down here and select anything that's already in here. You'll notice that I have this blue one selected. You can change any of these uh, or pick any of these ones that you want and make your email a little bit more personalized from themes. Uh, and then labs, you can click on that. And this is very similar to Google Calendar Labs. These are just things that are people wanted them to exist. Uh, they saw a problem or they saw a functionality that might be better. So they decided to code them themselves. Uh, as a disclaimer, they can break. Uh, they might not stop working. They can also just disappear at any time. They're not necessarily Google run. Uh, so it's run by other people. And if Google or the people that created it gets rid of it, it could just disappear. So you might not want to get too attached. Uh, some of the ones that I really like are canned responses, which we can show how to do in a later video. And then also I'm a really big fan of the preview pane. I think it makes it a little bit easier to read emails. And I'm going to come all the way down and I'm going to hit save changes. And then this is what my emails kind of look like. And if I wanted to send a canned response uh, down here in the bottom right hand corner where I have more options, I can now click on this and it has canned responses as one of those options. So if I send the same email out all the time or same response on a regular basis, I can just hit new canned response. I can type it in, say meeting, it's gonna be the name I typed in. Uh, yes, I'll be there. I'm going to go back to canned responses and save. That is meeting. So now whenever I want, if Courtney says, will you come to this meeting? I can hit reply. I can then come down here and go to canned responses and just say insert meeting. And that email will automatically be in there and you can set up as many of those canned responses as you want.